But now, to a story the media cannot get enough of, if only to complain that we shouldn't have reported it at all. Bundle of Joyce. Madly in love, Deputy PM expecting a baby with former staffer. Last week, the Daily Telegraph went where no one else had dared to go and revealed the worst kept secret in national politics, that the Deputy Prime Minister and leader of the National Party was expecting a baby with his former media advisor, Vicky Campion. And the telly had these exclusive pictures to prove it. Vicky Campion with Barnaby Joyce in June 2016 and a pregnant Campion in Canberra yesterday. Now, if that isn't news, I don't know what is. But no sooner had the telly revealed its scoop than debate kicked off about whether the public should have been told. With these kind of stories, is this any of our business? Do you now believe that the private lives of politicians are no longer off limits? Is it in the public's interest to be across a politician's personal affairs? While it's certainly juicy as a piece of gossip, is it any of our business? And before long, plenty of high-profile media players were firing back that the answer was no. The public had no right to know. None of our business. It doesn't matter whether he's the deputy janitor or the deputy prime minister. It's got nothing to do with us. It's really Barnaby Joyce's affair, clearly. And it's, and it's his business. It's really none of our business. The Sydney Morning Herald's political editor, Peter Harcher, was even more scathing in his condemnation. If you think it's good that there is zero privacy for our political leaders, if you think we should start papping everybody, if you think we should start reporting prurient gossip as leading national news, then uh, let's, let's upend all our conventions and start doing that. Crikey's Bernard Keane was of similar mind, describing the telly's story as shameful non-journalism that debases public life. And not surprisingly, the man himself was also in favour of keeping it quiet. I'll say that private matters remain private and I'm going to keep my private life private. Also, not surprisingly, many of Mr Joyce's political colleagues on all sides of Parliament, who would prefer the media not to report on their personal affairs, were in vigorous agreement. But we believe this was and is a legitimate story. Barnaby Joyce is not a backbencher nor an insignificant MP. He is the Deputy Prime Minister and leader of the Nationals. He's also campaigned on family values, the sanctity of marriage and the dangers of promiscuity. As The Guardian's Gay Alcorn wrote... Imagine Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull having an affair with a staff member and he and his wife Lucy splitting up. And imagine if the now former staffer was pregnant with Turnbull's baby. Would a single journalist in the Canberra Press Gallery argue that this was a private issue not worth reporting? And the Telegraph's national political editor, Sherry Markson, who broke the story, offered a similar argument for publication. Imagine if the United States President Donald Trump had a child with a former staff member. The, the US media would not hesitate to report that, and yet we tie ourselves in knots uh, about whether we should report a story. Well, we don't at The Telegraph, but the rest of the press gallery do um, afterwards. Strangely, in Australia, we don't have this debate when TV celebrities like Carl Stefanovic or sports stars like Wayne Carey have their personal lives turned over by the media. So why are politicians so special? Surely the public has a greater right to know what they are doing, since it's the public that votes them in and pays their wages. Indeed, some have criticised the Canberra Press Gallery for protecting Joyce, who was running for re-election in New England, by not printing the story that everyone knew about. But the AFR's Phil Corey says proof was lacking. Details were sketchy. It was rumoured his former staffer, Ms Campion, was pregnant, but not to Mr Joyce. Then it was rumoured she had had a termination. It was all very sordid. Certainly, Mr Joyce was doing his level best to stop it coming out. And perhaps that's why the media finally broke the news so brutally. Joyce's hometown paper, the Northern Daily Leader, revealed last week that back in November, during the New England by-election, it emailed a series of blunt questions to Barnaby's office. Has your marriage broken down? Did you separate from your wife earlier this year? Have you ever had a mistress? Do you still have a mistress? And the response? No comment. According to the leader... We were stonewalled by his media advisor, who refused to answer the questions and queried their relevance. So, unable to stand up the story, the leader did not publish. And there it remained until the Daily Telly went hunting for proof and found it in those pregnant pictures.
the, the Deputy Premier having a child with a former staff member is absolutely in the public interest and uh, the moment we were able to categorically confirm the story and as you can understand these things are very difficult um, to get to make sure that they're absolutely 100% correct you know when we got to that point that was when we published. So should it have done so? In our view yes. Do politicians have a right not to have such stuff reported? In our view no. And as the telly's editor Chris Dore asked crikey readers, how on earth could this relationship and the baby have remained a secret forever? What would journalists have done when he started pushing a pram around Lake Burley Griffin or Parliament House? So does that now mean open season on politicians and their private lives? We doubt it. Mostly the public are not interested and often there is no public interest in their knowing. But this was very different.